line between Hollywood and video games continues to be blurred with advances in technology. Players now experience the action and effects that were once the exclusive domain of film and television. Now, from Acclaim Entertainment comes Alias the Video Game, an immersive experience that faithfully recreates the world of Sydney Bristow. In order to capture the authentic look, feel, and action of the ABC series, Acclaim's creative team worked closely with the show's producer, writers, and cast to bring the Alias video game to life. It was really important to us that the characters not only sound like our characters, but also that the story be compelling and be something that would be part of our universe. We wanted this to be something that we would want to play. So we made sure that it was, you know, that we were the ones who were writing the story and the dialogue and overseeing it. It was just important to us that we treat the game the way we treat the show and do it as well as we can so that the final product was something that, you know, we'd be proud of. Acclaim enlisted the show's cast members, including Jennifer Garner, Michael Vartan, Ron Rifkin, Victor Garber, Carl Lumley, and Kevin Weissman as the voices for their virtual likenesses. Yeah, but if I go back through the security corridor, I'll get nailed by the cameras. For the cast, while working together on ABC's backlot to film the series as commonplace, coming together to help create the video game proved to be an entirely new acting experience. Our writers and producers wrote these lines, so it's... These are things that I've said a million times or things in the vein of what I would say every day. I mean, tomorrow I'll be saying these lines. This is a female protagonist who is out there taking care of herself, in charge of her life. If she needs to, you know, accomplish something in a mission, she'll do whatever it takes. And you can tell, even in the video game, that she's smart and, and strong and just an all-around cool chick. One of the clips I saw, which was completely freaked me out, was, uh, I guess, Sydney just standing there and her character. I mean, no one was playing, so the character was just sort of in, you know, pause mode, and she was pause mode, and she was swaying like this. And at some point, she did this with her hair, and I just, it was just so weird, because that is such a Sydney thing. And those little attentions to detail are what I think really help, you know, sell it and make it. Yeah, that really is an alias game. Marrying the technology and the Hollywood elements, Acclaim's product development studio in Cheltenham, England, has been working on the game for the past two years. When you look at Hollywood production and video game production, they're taking about the same length of time. We take 18 to 20 months to do, to do a game. We have designers, we have artists, we have animators, we shoot live action, in the, in, in, so we're doing everything. We compose music and record it in our own studios. So we're doing everything that a Hollywood studio has to do to make a movie. Um, and so that convergence is very real. And we're using the same technology, the same art packages to produce the stuff that you see in video games. Alias is the perfect blend between uh, combat and stealth. There's a lot of games that go on one end, if they're licensed action games, tend to be very combat based, or very sort of just bash bash all the way through. On the other end you get very stealth based games, which are very technical. Um, they're for the gamers who are really accurate and you can't really get away with very much. But we've actually managed to capture a lot of elements that a lot of games don't really capture in terms of um, the tension. I mean, that's one of the key things that we're pushing with this game. We've used a very special technique for using the split screen system to get that feeling across. And I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. I do these fights all of the time and I know that this is fake and that you can push a button and she'll pop back up. She looks enough like me and moves enough like me that when she does a fight, I don't really like seeing her get hit. I feel a little, it's a little too close to home. Do you want some of this? 